Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be talking about we can add the GDS game engine to our Sketchway Pro APK. So if you haven't known, the GDS is is an open source library for 3D games and 2D games in Java. So why it is most preferred is because you don't really need to code. You don't need to write if you write your code once. You can run it as an APK, you can run it as an iOS app, you can run it as a website game. So I will be showing us how we can use libgds to make games in Android. So libgds can be used to make games same as Unity does, but but thank God for Sketchup we can do we can also do it with our with our Sketchup we can add the make the game in our Sketchup. So today I'll show us how we can just today just the setup. I'll create a playlist. I'll create a playlist on the YouTube channel so you can go there and subscribe. So yeah, you will be enabled whenever I post more video on this topic of game making in Sketchway Pro. So we'll first start with the 2D game. As it for the main thing now is to add is to add the the pro the, the library. Main thing is to add the library to your project. So libgds has two two libraries, two Java libraries. So it has our GDS and GDS Android. This GDS Android is to make the library compatible with Android. So libgds has its own life cycle. So that is to say, you shouldn't use you shouldn't use Android life cycle on libgds. So for starters, we need this. I've added an activity. This will be our launcher activity. Then my game, my game which implement application listener. So this is our asset file. The GDS has some native libraries. Or because the GDS is based on Java and C, C++, it has a lot of support on Android game making. So as the time go, we'll learn how to make the game. So today is only the, the main thing which is the most important thing is adding the library and the main setup to Sketchway. So I've added my activity. Like I said, the GDS has its own life circles. So you shouldn't be using Android code, or if you have to use Android code, that is to say you are not making your game cross-platform. That means if you use Android game, Android code, sorry, when next you want to, if you want to make that same game for iOS, you have to code afresh. But when you use their live circles and their codes, you don't need to be recording it. All you just need to do is run it in other platform. But it has a lot of support for Android games. Android games, so like I say, it it implements Android application. This is a class in the library. This is a class, so that is you can see that is on create, on create listener. That is on create listener. So most of our data, the music, everything will come here. It will be in the asset file. That is where games normally stores their data. You know, like Android that store music, um, image, a sound folder, and durables. So, like, so with it being added, with it being added, we will start our, we will start the tutorial. So I've added it to this project. I've added it to this project. So in the next tutorial, we will be building our first 2D game step by step and able to subscribe so you get why we say you should subscribe because only when you subscribe for you to be able to notify you of when we upload video. So I've, I will create a playlist on the GDX. So you might have been seeing plenty of games on Play Store. You love it. The game physics. Most of these games are made on libgds and it's totally free. You don't need to pay license. The game you can only pay. You can only contribute to libgds community 
if it helps you so it's out of a free way it's a totally open source library so you can use to your own satisfaction no limitation in whatsoever form thank you please subscribe